All right, a lot of times I like to start out a YouTube video with a question. So here's my question for you. How much of a new Pokemon card set do you like to open? So I created this uh, Danny Phantom uh, bundle uh, when it comes to set releases. So for like Stellar Crown, for example, which is the next set release comes out in a couple weeks. Uh, we sell three booster boxes and one Elite Trainer box. I think that that is kind of a good amount to open. You get the Elite Trainer box, so you can get the booklet and build master sets, three booster boxes. We'll give you the majority, if not all, the commons and uncommons, a good chunk of the reverse house should give you all the holographic rares and then you've got a good start on the ultras but then you really start buying singles focusing on uh checking off one card at a time as the market settles obviously we've been through this before you guys know the drill once a new set releases the card prices for singles uh pokemon card prices are all over the place they fluctuate sometimes buyouts happen sometimes they don't happen sometimes things die in price sometimes things explode in price it's all over the place so it's really kind of uh just opening up some for fun getting a lot of that stuff checked off and then slowly starting to build up uh, your master set collection or checking off those important cards, those cards that are important to you, those hunts. But it's fun to open up Pokemon cards, right? Like, it is enjoyable uh, to sit there, go full D-Gen mode, and just crack a bunch of packs, right? You hear that noise, and you're like, I just want to rip in there. Here's a Fusion Strike pack. There could be an alternate art Gengar VMAX in here, which is a beautiful card and a lot of fun to open. But when you calculate how much you spend opening up Pokemon cards and the average value that you are getting out of this, that's really when the gambling side of things becomes an issue and really when you need to be uh, super careful, ultra careful with how much you are spending uh, when it comes to opening up Pokemon cards. I'm not saying don't open them up. Have fun. Like, obviously, stick to your budget. Uh, However, there are sets that are better to open than others. So, for example, we just had Twilight Masquerade. That was our last main series set that came out a couple months ago. And there is a big card in Twilight Masquerade, right? Like the Greninja EX Special Illustration Rare. It is absolutely beautiful. It is selling for almost $300. Like, it's a lot of money. The most expensive card in the Scarlet and Violet era. The problem is Pokemon decided, hey, let's change pull rates. Uh, Pokemon card pull rates are completely different, starting with Temporal Forces. Gone are the days where you are guaranteed to get a hyper rare or a uh, a special illustration rare in the same box. Now, it's going to take you a couple boxes. Now, it's going to take you a lot more packs. And because of that, it's a lot more difficult to pull a specific special illustration rare like that Greninja EX than what it was in Scarlet and Violet Base, in Obsidian Flames, in Paldea Evolved. It's a lot different now. And pull rates play a huge factor on your average value of what you can expect inside a booster pack. So what we did is we went out and we calculated what is probably the best set to open in the Scarlet and Violet era. And the great thing about Scarlet and Violet is you can still buy booster packs for relatively cheap. Yeah, Obsidian Flames booster boxes are starting to take off a little bit. Paldea Evolved, Twilight Masquerade, starting to take off a little bit more. Booster boxes selling for $130, somewhere in that area. Uh, But really what it breaks down to is if you want to open up packs and you want to have fun and enjoy Pokemon cards the way that they are meant to be enjoyed, granted, you probably shouldn't pay too much attention attention to the value that you're getting but let's face it it's not fun to open up a bunch of pokemon cards and get absolutely nothing out of it so de- uh, increasing your odds basically uh, of trying to find a booster pack a pokemon card booster pack that produces the best value the best average return uh, is extremely important so we're going to look today at Paldea Evolved. And the reason Paldea Evolved is so important is because this is a set that's loaded with illustration rares. It's loaded with special illustration rares, but this is a set where the pull rates have not been impacted. So Scarlet and Violet, Paldea Evolved, Obsidian Flames all have amazing pull rates where you are basically guaranteed two of that upper echelon secret rare in each booster box. So you might get two special illustration rares in your booster box of Paldea Evolved. Evolved, you might get one special illustration rare and one hyper rare, uh, but chances are, I would say, I don't know if I've even ever opened up a box that didn't have two. Uh, 99% of the time, you're going to pull two of those. So it's going to be, you know, either two special illustration rares or one special illustration rare and a hyper rare. That's how uh, pull rates break down. It means every 36 packs you open of Paldea Evolved, you're going to get two of that upper echelon. Obviously, things have changed a lot, right? Now it takes two booster boxes just to open up one. Uh, so Paldea Evolved already has that going for it. Also, the artwork in Paldea Evolved is absolutely amazing. The fact that it's a very bloated set, much like what we've seen from Paradox Rift, 
um, because there's so many different options, so many great card arts, there's a strong demand for a lot of the cards in Pal Day Evolved, which helps that market value uh, remain consistent. It helps it helps stay the staying power of that market value. So when you open up Pal Day Evolved, and I'm not talking about going out and spending $130 on booster boxes. We're going to look at the booster box price in a, in a few minutes here. Uh, but you can still find booster packs of Pal Day Evolved in store if you're somebody who's like, I like to go to Target and maybe when I'm checking out, I just grab a few booster packs. If Pal Day Evolved is, is there uh, at $4.49, it's a much better buy buying that one than Obsidian Flames. Especially if you still have a few gapping holes in your Master Set collection or in your collection. Yeah, it's fun to chase the Magic Harp or it's fun to chase the Special Illustration Rare Iono, but the average value is going to be much better. So we're going to look at that. And the way that we do that is we look at pull rates, uh, which we'll look at the bottom of this, uh, and then we uh, analyze the price points of all the cards in the set as far as the upper rarities go. So all the regular art EXs, uh, which are no, uh, classified as double rares, all the full arts, which are classified as ultra rares, and then the illustration rares, the special illustration rares, and the hyper rares. We're going to look at all those as far as pricing goes. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. I'm just going to point out kind of the bigger things of them. So looking at the double rares right here, unfortunately, um, double rares having better pull rates where you're getting like five or six a booster box, they don't hold value very well unless it's something that's super ultra competitive like that Teal Mask Ogre Pond, which is selling for eight, nine, ten dollars uh, like Reggie Drago V at one point in time, which was selling for a little bit more. So once you have a card that's doing extremely well in competitive play, uh, Iron Thorns went up a little bit, Raging Bolt at one point was up a little bit, uh, that definitely helps things out. Unfortunately, with Pal Day Evolved, outside Side of Bax Caliber, there's not a whole lot when it comes to the double rares that are doing super well in competitive play. And even Bax Caliber right now isn't doing super well. It was just played quite a bit uh, over the past year, which helped it, its value a little bit. But now that it's not played as much anymore, it's gone down quite a bit. Actually, the most expensive regular art in the set right now is the Pikachu V. And that's not being played competitively at all. That's just driven by the name. That's just driven because it's a Pikachu V. That's really the only one that's super close to this $2 price point. So everything else we're just going to associate a bulk EX price with it of $2. Now, uh, bulk EX price is unfortunately nowhere near $2, but I do believe if you sell cards individually or if you want to value cards, you can value them at $2 a piece. Uh, unfortunately, the ultra rares, there's also a lot of them that are selling for basically bulk pricing right now. It's crazy to me uh, how things have changed over the years where bulk pricing for a full art, even though full arts are difficult to pull, that just goes to tell you and goes to show you how many of these cards are being opened and pulled on a daily basis that there's so much quantity out there because pull rates on these full arts variants still aren't very good uh, but the prices are so low because there's so much demand or there's so much supply out there just because there's so many people opening packs uh, so if we look at these uh, the fortress ex uh, all of these basically two dollars a piece until we get to the chi Yu ex full art that one has gone up a little bit that one's sitting at three dollars right now the chime pow is sitting at four dollars right now again a lot of a little bit of that is more based off of its playability the tingaton ex that one is currently selling for five dollars the squawkabilly ex that one's currently selling for three dollars the Bosses orders is the second most expensive one uh, in the set. And there's a lot of full art bosses orders that are still in the format that are out there. Uh, $7 on that one. Everything else is $2 except for the Iono. The full art Iona, obviously a very playable card, but it's been hammered by the fact that there's been so many Ionos that have been printed. Obviously, you have this one. Then we have a special illustration rare in this set. You have a special illustration rare in Pale Day and Fates. You have the box promos, the Iono premium tournament collection, that milk carton, uh, which has a full art variant in that. And that has really hurt the pricing of Iono which is okay because it's played so much in competitive decks, uh, but it has brought the value down quite a, mid, uh, quite a bit. If we look over at the illustration rares, this is where things really start getting interesting because there's a lot of illustration rares in Pal Day Evolved and a lot of them that are selling uh, for double digits that have double digit values associated with them. So obviously, yeah, you want to pull the Magic Card because that one's selling for $116. So it's great to open up a pack of Pal Day Evolved and pull a $116 card. But if your illustration rare is Sprigatito, a $15 card, that's really not that bad. I mean, that's more expensive than every single full art in the set outside of Iono, and it shares the same price as that. So the fact that you get a decent amount of illustration rares in your 36-pack sample size of Pal Day Evolved, and the average value of these illustration rares is very strong because you have so many of them currently valued in double digits or higher. So you have the Heracross at 13, the Tropius is currently selling for 7, you have the Sprigatito for 15, the Florigato is a little bit lower at 6, same thing with the Bramble at four, the Fletchlander is at six dollars, the Pyro is at five dollars, and you have another one in the Fue Coco, another. 
Regular Starter, which is selling for $12. The Crocolore is selling for $6. Magikarp has come down quite a bit. At one point in time, this was at $150, and for a while, went from uh, about $70, $80, $90. Then Manipulation happened. It jumped up to $125. Then it jumped up to $150. And look, a lot of these cards that were manipulated that were jumping up have really retraced quite a bit. So this Magikarp all the way back down to $116. I don't know if we'll see it drop below $100 again, uh, but it's getting mighty close to that. Then we've got another double-digit card in the Merrill at $10. The Ice Q is 6 The Quaxley is 6 uh, The Quaxwell is $4. Uh, Frigibax is 5 And Arctabax is 4 Then you have the Bax Caliber at 11 Another competitive card, another playable card right there. The Raichu currently selling for $40, doing extremely well. Uh, the Miss Magius is at $8. Gotharita is at 3 Sandy Gas is at 4 Rabska is at 3 Tinka Tink is at $5. The Tinka Tough is at $9. So just below uh, that double digit price point. Then we have the Paldean Tauros at $7. Uh, the Suda Wudo doing really well. That one's currently sitting at $11. $3 a piece for the Knackley and the Paldean Whooper. Uh, then you have uh, $33 for the Tyranitar. The Tyranitar still doing uh, extremely well. Then you've got a handful of cards that are selling for $3 and $4, except for the Mousehold, uh, which is selling for $11 currently. If we look over at the special illustration rares, not a whole lot of value in a lot of these outside of the Iono, and that card's been getting crushed. At one point in time, that was selling for well over $100, then it retraced down to about $100, and then as more and more Ionos hit the market, it dropped even further, and now, still expensive, don't get me wrong, uh, but it has fallen all the way down to $66 for that Iono, but you still have double-digit pricing across the board for a lot of these. The Mio Scarada is up a little bit. That one's at $15. The Wu Chine is up a little bit at ten dollars uh Skella Dirge currently sitting at 14 chi yu has gone up quite a bit and then retraced also a little bit so that one's currently sitting at 26 dollars quackwavel ex is at eight dollars chine pow is at 22 tinkerton has been the, just a, a picture of consistency over the last couple of years that one's sitting at 16 dollars squawkabilly ex is at 11 boss's orders at 14 dendra is sitting at 11 dollars the giacomo you still have a few cards that are really inexpensive for special illustration rares like this giacomo which is currently sitting at four dollars and even this grusha a uh, very cool looking card currently selling for ten dollars and then you have the cigarro at five dollars as far as the hyper rares go uh not a whole lot of fan favorites when it comes to those gold bordered cards outside of the super rod which is ultra playable uh that's the only one that's selling for double digit pricing right now so the mio scarada the skeledurge and the quackleville all the final evolution stages of the starters are only selling for five dollars then you've got the chine pow at six and the tinglu at three three dollars for a secret rare Come on, that's super good. Uh, super Rod at 15, Superior Energy Retrieval at 8, Grass Energy at 9, and Water Energy at 6. That makes everything up. So if we look at the pull rates and we associate the average value of what you're expected to pull out of your booster box sample size, we can calculate kind of an average of what you can expect to get out of your booster pack of Paldea Evolved. So uh, we expect to get 12.27 hits out of every booster box of Paldea Evolved. That means every three packs that you open up, you should get a hit. So if you go to the store, you buy three booster packs of Paldea Evolved, one of those should uh, should have an ultra rare of some sort, whether it be an illustration rare, a double rare, an ultra rare, a special illustration rare, or a hyper rare of some sort. You are expected to get 4.86 double rares. So call it five. Five double rares, those regular art EXs uh, per booster box. Unfortunately, the average price point of those is only $2, right? There's just not a whole lot of value when it comes to those uh, those double rares. We already talked about this. There's not a whole lot of playability in them. There's been so much Pal Day Evolved that has already been opened. So the supply of those all over the place. Uh, that means on average, your value uh, that you can expect to get out of your 36-pack sample size of Pal Day Evolved is about $9.71. Average value in those double rares. When it comes to the ultra rares, the full art's not a whole lot better. You're only looking at about $2.96 for your average value of each ultra rare. Now you get 2.37 of them per booster box about every 15 packs, but because of the lower value, remember your biggest price point on those was that Iono at $15 and your second biggest was that Boss's Orders at about $7. That means on average, your value of your box, your value that you should expect out of your box of Pal Day Evolved is only about $7.02. When it comes to the illustration rares, this is the one that keeps trickling up a little bit. It keeps going up a little bit more. Last time we looked at this, it was a couple dollars less. Uh, three of them per booster box. So you open up 36 packs. You should get three illustration rares. It's pretty much like clockwork. One out of every 12 packs. Your average value, your average price point on these is $11. Now, this data is skewed a little bit by that Magikarp, uh, but... 
when you factor in the fact that there's also a lot of other cards that are selling for that lower double digit area, uh, like the Sudowoodo, like the Mousehold, like the Merrill, a lot of these other ones that are selling for $10, $11, average price point of $11. Yeah, you may pull the Flamigo, but you also may pull, uh, you may pull that Merrill and you may pull the Tyranitar. So that's going to give you a little bit above that $11 price point. Your average value, $11.08. That means per booster box, per 36 pack sample size, you should pull about $33 worth of value when it comes to those illustrations. When it comes to the special illustration rares, you get 1.31 per box. Way better when it comes to Pokemon card pull rates for Paldea Evolved than what we're experiencing right now. Right now, you get like 0.5. Like you, you have to open up two boxes to get one special illustration rare. Back then, with Paldea Evolved, it was 1.31 per booster box, which is absolutely insane. One out of every 27 packs, as opposed to now, one out of every 70 packs. The average price point still holding fairly strong at $16 a piece. Yeah, you don't have that Greninja in Paldea Evolved, which is skewing the average prices, uh, but you still have a lot, like the other special illustration rares that are in Twilight Masquerade, like the Sinistra, like the Ogre Ponds, they don't sell for that much more anyway. So the average value of that is going to be skewed a lot by that Greninja. But if you don't pull that Greninja, you're still probably looking at an average value of about $16 for Twilight Masquerade as well. Uh, that means, on average, your value should be about $21.03 when it comes to opening up that Paldea Evolve booster box or that 36 booster pack sample size. Average Hyper Rares, you get 0. .73 per box, one out of every 49 packs. Your average price point on those Hyper Rares, $6.89. Yeah, you could pull uh, the Super Rod, but chances are, I mean, all the other ones are selling for about $6, $7, $8. Anyways, that means, on average, your, your value in your box for Hyper Rares is going to be about $5.02. The great thing about Paldea Evolved is you also have a lot of other ancillary cards uh, that have a little bit of value to them. So right now, outside of Earthen Vessel, uh, which is from Paradox Rift, that one's selling for above $4. You also have uh, Buddy Buddy Pawthin uh, from Temporal Forces. That one's selling for a couple dollars. Uh, and then you have a few other cards as well that are, are staples in the competitive format, which do fairly well as far as bulk pricing goes. Uh, Paldea Evolved is kind of where it's at. Now, there's no Arvid in this set, like what you have from Obsidian Flames and Scarlet and Violet, uh, but you do have Bosses Orders Hollows, which sell for a dollar, Jet Energy, which sell for a dollar, uh, Superior Energy Retrieval, which sell for a dollar, and Super Rod, which sell for a dollar. And these are just trainer cards that you should pull a couple of uh, out of your booster box. You should pull like two of each, maybe three of each, uh, which is going to help that bulk value a lot more, and that's going to help your average pack value a lot more as well. So if we look at your total value, your total expected value when it comes to a Paldea Evolved uh, booster box. Just when it comes to ultra rares, you should pull about $76 worth of hits uh, in your Paldea Evolved booster box. When it comes to that ancillary value, that bulk, the code cards, not worth a whole lot there, uh, but these extra bulk cards, which are valuable to competitive players that sell for a dollar a piece, that adds up, and you get a little bit more bang for your buck in that area. So your ancillary value looks to be about $20. So you add that together, your total value in your booster box of Paldea Evolved or your 36-pack sample size should be around $96. Dollars and two cents, which really isn't that bad. Now the market price for the Paldea Evolved booster box right now is one hundred and thirty-five dollars and thirteen cents. Obviously, you're going to lose money. So your 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 uh, fun cost, uh, you should expect to lose about forty dollars every time you open up a Paldea Evolved booster box. But you don't have to open up a Paldea Evolved booster box. There's a lot of other products out there that you can buy that are Paldea Evolved. Uh, build and battle boxes are still relatively inexpensive. You can buy uh, you can buy sleeve boosters. You can buy uh, just loose booster packs, uh, which give you the same pull rates, uh, but give you a much cheaper price point, which is very, very helpful. Here's your target pack price right here, $2.67. So if you take this $96.02 right here, which is your expected value when it comes uh, to Paldea, evolved uh, booster boxes and you divide that by 36 that means on average you're going to want to pay approximately two dollars and 67 cents per booster pack of paldea evolved because that is the expected value that you should get out of your paldea evolved now i'm not saying every pack of paldea evolved that you open up is going to give you two dollars and 67 cents worth of cards uh, but if you open up enough of them that will be the average price point that you're going to get your average value uh, that you're going to get in return uh, which makes it opening makes opening pokemon cards a little bit more fun because you know when you're opening something up there's at least a, a better opportunity of getting the value back that you put into it now obviously i'm not saying don't open up twilight masquerade or don't open up any of these other sets you should do what you enjoy most uh, but a lot of questions, a lot of times I get asked questions about what set is best to open. Right now from the Scarlet and Violet generation, this will change. Uh, but right now from the Scarlet and Violet generation, Paldea Evolved uh, continues to be 
the best set to open. Not just because the value of the cards are a little bit higher, but pull rates play a huge impact on Pokemon cards. And the fact that pull rates changed once Paradox Rift released and then changed even more when Temporal Forces came out, that plays a big impact on the average value that you should expect out of your booster box. So uh, food for thought. I hope you enjoyed the data. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like, leave a comment. It goes a really long way uh, for the algorithm. But ultimately, thank you so much just for taking the time to watch, listen. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another video Sunday. Uh, I hope to do a live stream at night. I hope to see you guys here. We're going to be talking competitive Pokemon with uh, a good friend of mine. His name is Azul. He's a big time uh, competitive player. I hope you guys can join us. I'm hoping 10 o'clock central time uh, in the evening. So 10 p.m. central time in the evening. I hope to see you guys there. Uh, but thank you so much for everything. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Until next time. Peace.